Okay, the second product which we are going to discuss now is called the IPS, Intrusion Prevention System. So why you need an IPS? So as we discussed earlier that firewall is a product which is only going to protect at the port level. So port is allowed, you are allowed inside the network. If it is not allowed, you are blocked. Correct? So think of, think of uh, at the airport, how, how do you define like a firewall and an IPS uh, situation? So when you go to an airport, at the external side, just you have to go for the boarding and those people will look at your source and destination. You are the same person and you are allowed, right? So you say, this is the source, this is the destination and firewall is allowed. So you are allowed actually. So firewall role is over from there. Role of IPS starts, you are allowed. But what all items you can carry along with you, when there is security check, which happens inside the airport, that precisely is what the job of an IP is. Even though you are allowed, you cannot bring some malicious traffic on your my, my website, right? So deep packet inspections comes into the picture in, in terms of IPS. So it looks inside the log beyond ports and see what all data you are carrying from source to destination. And it will look for certain signatures. If it matches a malicious uh, signature, it will then and there it will be able to block it. So that is the job, job, job of an IPS. So firewall will block at port level. Okay, it's port level. And IPS will block at, it will do deep. packet inspection so if we look inside the packet and see if something is malicious is some, suppose you are trying to upload so there is a server on which you are trying to upload a file so firewall allows transfer of file okay if FTP is a protocol or it could be SSH for that matter but you are uploading a malware infected doc or PDF file so if anybody is going to open that file, they will be infected. So you have infected a particular file and now you are transferring it. So firewall will not look inside what is the file, what, what is inside the file, right? But IPS, if you are using it, it will open up, look inside it, try to match a signature. If it matches, it will block then and there. Okay. So IPS is that kind of product. So primarily the kind of companies which are using, uh, uh, you know, uh, developing IPS products, some of the top vendors in the world are like McAfee, Cisco, uh, Trend Micro, Checkpoint. So they develop a very, very sophisticated IPS products uh, to protect uh, your infrastructure, right? And fire for firewall, I, uh, you know, one of the examples which I gave is, which are the top companies which make firewalls, good firewalls, like Checkpoint is world leader, Palo Alto, Fortinet, Cisco. They make, uh, uh, you know, the top class uh, firewalls to protect the infrastructure. Now you have vendors who make IPS products, some of the vendors make multiple products and almost all of them will have some, uh, you know, the capabilities in these security controls what we are going to uh, discuss, okay. So the IPS is again a device which is going to protect your server and the users. Somebody is trying to access the information, suppose if you are using a Firefox browser and Firefox is infected, uh, you know, it is not, uh, you know, updated to the latest version and it is having some kind of uh, vulnerabilities in that. So when you try to access internet and that particular site is, you know, offering you a bad uh, files to be downloaded and if you don't use IPS and you are still running the older version of, uh, you know, Internet Explorer or any Chrome browser or Opera or you know Safari, you will get infected. So your machine will be infected because you went outside and downloaded something malicious. So that is where the IPSL comes into picture and it is going to protect you. Or if any hacker is trying to access from outside, right? If they come from inside, uh, you know, from outside and try to hit the IPS and try to reach your server, uh, firewall will first protect at the pro uh, at the, the port level, but if you are trying to uh, send some malicious traffic inside uh, the allowed traffic, IPS is going to protect you. 
okay so good so we are going to the next product uh, what has been used by the organizations thank you